Hi there everyone, this is Doug with Calvert Creative Solutions. Just another update on my Black Widow 3D printer here by TiVo. So as you can see, I've got most of a spool has been printed off this machine over the last few days. Very solid, steady printing. I think it's been running more than it's been off for the last while. The few modifications I've made have made a, a fairly big difference in the overall usability of the printer. Um, that said, the E3D hot end that I have on it didn't really uh, modify the print quality much, but just due to the fact that my other printers um, use the E3D systems. I, uh, I'm sticking with that one on this one also just for uh, sake of interchangeability between the systems. Okay. So I'm, uh, I'm just going to show you a part here that I've printed with the Black Widow here. Just give you the idea of the quality I'm getting out of this. This is a 0 0.2 layer height. And interestingly enough, this machine is so rigid, you can actually see right there in the shadows in the center, you can actually see the micro stepping artifacts. So we are at the limit of what a stepper motor driven printer can produce with this machine. You can see there isn't a ripple in the entire print. It's silky smooth. This is the only stringing I'm getting. You can see it's very fine wisps. Nothing intense here at all. In fact I hit it with a jet lighter for a few seconds and those completely burn right off. And one thing I have noticed over the last few days of printing it seems like all of the bearings are starting to wear in a little bit and get the grease moved around because the overall print volume here, how loud this uh, printer is running, is getting quieter and quieter. One further modification I've made, you can see, if I come right down in here, you may be able to see right in the center of the bed, I took the heated bed off, drilled and tapped a M3 hole and I put a little jack screw in the center. And what I've found that that does, just because this bed here is so large, by putting a small support point right in the very center of the bed and just putting a very tiny bit of tension on it, it has reduced a lot of the resonance in the bed. So the print quality has gotten even better again due to the fact that instead of just being cantilevered between these four points, there's a single hard point of contact in the center that this whole bed sort of rocks around on and it reduces any vibration in this bed. Okay, So at this point I'm comfortable that I'm going to release the upgrade pack on Thingiverse as well as on my website. So if you want to download and print out these, uh, these few upgrades I've got, by all means, you can find a link below this video on my we uh, website, calvertcreativesolutions.com, or on my Thingiverse page, which will also be linked in this video description. Okay. Thanks again for watching. 
and let's see if you guys will buy one of these up.